Hello everybody. Today we, well, I'm going to paint all of this, this saddle, this doll, this doll, and this bridle. Well, I'm only going to paint the stirrups and the pad around it. And I'm, oh, fell down. And I'm also going to paint the bridle, but I'm only going to paint those little loops that, like, the little piece of fab, felt, not felt, leather goes in. And then, also on the saddle, I'm probably going to paint the leathers, like, a dark brown in this part right here, if you can see. It's about, like, 7.30 in the morning right now. That's why the lighting isn't that great, but, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I got my mat. Now let's get the paints. Okay, guys, so I got my paint brushes here. My two plates. This one's going to be for mixing, and that one's, that one's going to be for mixing paint. That one's going to be for just regular paint. And then I have all of this paint in here. And I am selling, like, those miniature briar, like the mini briars. Um, so I'm going to look at all the paints that I have. Well, we'll definitely need black for the hair, so... Let's put some black on here. Not too much, because not that much hair is going to be painted. Then we have Moonshine here, so she still recognizes Mackenzie. This is Mackenzie. Wait. This is Mackenzie, and this is her mom. I do have an LOL mat, LOL doll mat, but, well, my, well, I just have it. That's my craft mat. Okay, let's see. I'm going to see when I got all the colors. Okay, guys, I got all of my colors ready. I'm going to move this over here so you guys can see. Kind of what I'm doing. So first, I'm going to paint down Mackenzie. I'm actually going to put it over there. So, here we have Mackenzie. Okay, now I need to find what I want to do. Wait, find a paintbrush for her hair. I'm going to use this one for the black hair. So... I already put it down here a little. Eh. Okay. Being very careful. Okay, I painted Mackenzie's hair black. Okay, we have her hair black now. I don't know if you can see. Well, it's black now. I'm going to put her like this. So now I'm going to... Do another brush. Oh, I forgot my cup of water over there. That I'm going to use for the paint. Forgot it. Okay. Now that I have it, I'm going to put this brush in it. And I'm going to use it for the back of her vest. So I got this light purple. Wait. Okay. 
Now I'm going to do the back of her vest. Okay. You gotta be slow and steady. Okay, almost there. Okay, I'm getting a close up for me. So I'll see you guys when this is all done to be dry. Okay guys, Mackenzie is not dry yet, but I'm gonna paint Mackenzie's mom for now. So I'm going to use the paintbrush again. Her mom's hair is also going to be black. So I'm painting her hair black. I'll see you guys when her hair is all painted black. Okay guys, this is how her hair turned out. It's not dry yet, but now I'm going to do the vest. I'm going to be doing this her vest in this dark purple color. So, let's get to it. I can do the front because she stands up, but Mackenzie can't. I have her drawing over here, face down. So I'm gonna see you guys when I paint her vest. Okay guys, so, this is how Mackenzie's mom is coming. I just did some coats on her yellow shirt and I decided to make her pants pink. And this is how Mackenzie is coming. So this is the front part. It's coming out pretty solid and I like that. And I did the black on the sleeves on purpose. So it looked cool. So I'm going to see you guys when the dolls are all finished. So guys, I decided to change her shirt to blue. Because the yellow just didn't go well with it. And it was, and it took like, I already did like 10 coats of yellow. And it still wasn't showing up. So, I, so now I'll see you when they're all done. So Kenzie is dry. And this is how she turned out. So here's the front. Here's the back. That's all I'm going to do for Mackenzie. I did a lot for her. I'm going to put her over here. And then her mom's still drying, so I'm going to put her over here. Now I'm going to do the tack. I... So, I'm thinking of what color to do the pad. I think I'm going to do it, um, like, I'm going to do it that aqua color. So, I'm going to see you guys when it is ready. Well, when the pad's done. Okay, guys. So, her saddle pad is finished. It only took me, like, a minute to do it. It does look very pretty. It looks blue on camera, but it's actually aqua. So I'm going to now make these two parts a dark brown and the leathers, and I'm going to make the stirrups like a black plus a silver. Okay, guys, I have the stirrups done. They look amazing. Okay, guys, it is all done. And I did use this paint marker to do um, the sides because I couldn't find any brown paint. So I just used one of my paint markers to do it. Okay, now that the saddle is finished, I'm going to do the bridle. So I'm probably only going to make like that part and that part 
um, the nose band in, I don't remember what that is called. The color of the paint marker that I used. So I'm going to see you guys when it is done. Okay, guys. Here is the bridle. This is how it turned out. I'm really happy. And I even did right under here. I did under there with that dark brown color. So I'm going to see you guys when this is all dry. I'm going to wait about an hour. And I'm going to put it on the horse. All this stuff and put Mackenzie on. On Moonlight. We have Moonlight watching over here. I'm scared I'm going to get her dirty. Um, that's why I put her over there. Not over here because I don't want to get her dirty. Because she is so pretty. I have new tack. I have a new doll, another new doll, um, and a new horse. I really like the name Moonlight. So yeah, bye and peace. So guys, this is how it turned out. I really like it. Now let's turn her around. It fell over. My back dropped. It fell over. Here's the other side. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye and peace now.